Finally, the truth do of Ali Koma. Me myself, no say very dark man must react to this video. If you come across this video, I beg, not share this video, go where very dark black man day. <laughs> waiting at the airport inside this video, not be waiting, I will be explained with my mouth. The update will be like, say, the trends on social media since some days now. Eh, but very dark man and Bob Risky. Now, TVC News. Journalists don't finally react to this update. People are here waiting. TVC News, they talk about this video, but it gave a particular thing where they talk about very dark man. Maybe I share this video. Maybe other than just here waiting at the end. And I'll wrap up. Fairy eyes. The, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has invited a social media influencer, Martins Ose, popularly known as Very Dark Man, and a cross dresser, Idris Okune, otherwise known as Bobriski over bribery allegations against its officials. The EFCC directive came after Very Darkman shared an audio online in which Wabriski claimed he bribed some EFCC officials with 15 million naira to drop the money laundering charges against him. In a statement, the EFCC chairman, Ola Ulukwedi, also ordered an immediate investigation into the allegations. Now let's share some reactions on the story with you. The reason why I will not go to Lagos is this. Me, I don't have 15 million naira to pay for anything. Do you understand? And I don't have any godfather anywhere. Me, they don't come carry me go for prison. I don't have any godfather anywhere. If I want to me for prison. And I don't have 15 million naira just in case you open something against me. Because now I can't trust you people now. I can't trust you people can decide to set me up. You can decide to set me up. I don't trust you people, yeah? So, I don't think I ought to go to Lagos. So, this is the headquarter here. Bring it here. Let them investigate it here. I am not coming. I don't trust you people. I will not go. Okay, uh, Kairi. Some serious allegations flying here and there. And uh, EFCC has ordered both uh, Babriski and uh, Very Dark Man, you know, to probe the allegations, you know, fight. What should we expect? I think what we should expect should have started happening. <laughs> so I don't know whether I should call it expectation. One of the things, I think this is, thing is very, very easy. I'm sure. not an expert uh, criminologist, mm -hmm. but basically I think these allegations are very easy to investigate. Oh, very easy. But the fact that if the voice is not deep fake, okay. if it is verified mm -hmm. that there was truly a phone conversation, okay. You need to confirm whether it was just a careless talk okay. from Babriski or it is just one of those, you know, um, some kind of conversation to show okay. that it was a big boy who actually lived, I mean, I'm very careful with my E, mm. it's actually an E, okay. understand, who actually lived in a VIP mm. you know, prison just to prove a point. Mm. That he never went through any pain. That's another serious allegation. Yeah, a, because so, the, so for me, the... two things I will expect EFCC to do. Okay. Names were being mentioned. Yes. Transactions were being mentioned. Mm. EFCC have access to the BVN. They can look at so the transaction. They can, they can the, trace, trace it, it exactly. and confirm that there was. I mean, there was actually mm. transaction mm. about this fund okay. to start with. Mm. And if you establish that these people truly have a relationship with um, Okune, yes. I think that's his name, yes. you should be able to know that this is not one kind of conspiracy theory or the other. Okay. It's also to buttress that fact. You know, someone like She Kuti has already come out to say that, hey, we went to the real prison. Exactly. So what is happening? The, the Ministry of Interior also needs to come clean. Yeah, the Ministry of Interior, um, the Interior Minister sorry. also called for... An investigation, investigation into investigation. that particular yes. issue. Mm. So these two institutions need to come clean mm. while they are doing their investigation. But for, for Bobrisky, I think he has gone into a deeper issue. If truly that serious. call mm. was serious. serious. Because it's not only the bribey mm. that should be picked up, the bribery is also guilty. Exactly. Except it's a sting operation like we had in the case of Femi or Tedela, you remember, and Farouk. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, we need mm. to look at it holistically, and this is not one of the cases that should, that should be swept, swept under the carpet. carpet. No. We must get to this real issue. Mm. Questions are being asked. 
EFCC needs to let us know what really happened. Mm. Did you drop that second charge mm. of uh, money laundering because 15 million was paid? It was paid. It's a very serious issue. Mm, very serious issue. Embarrassment, I tell you. But yeah, first it was the Yabelo scenario. Very embarrassing. And now this one. This, this is not an embarrassment to many. No, it's... Um I mean, I think uh, the EFCC chairman should um, see that it gets to the root of this matter because the name of the agency is being dragged in the mud yeah. al almost on a weekly basis now. Mm. I mean, just, men just mentioned the Ayabilo. You declared the Ayabilo wanted. The Ayabilo came to your office, spent three hours. You didn't do anything and midnight you went to his lodge came, and you are saying it's not with you and you didn't, you didn't see him i mean it remains wanted it remains wanted somebody was three hours now bobriski bobriski when i say him she he or she is not serious okay of course he admitted in court that uh is he is a he so i refer to him as he okay so okune in as much as you don't want to take him serious. But very dark man had a conversation with him, quote and unquote, recorded. Audio, the audio is flying everywhere. But I'm get as I was coming to the studio, I got one hint that um, Bob Brisky denied yes. uh, the, the voice tape now. So EFCC has all it takes. They have they have all the equipment to clean to, to come clean of the case uh, 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 of this matter mm. by ensuring that if they have to deploy tools that will show us that yes the voice that is going around deep is AI is, is AI, AI mm. is AI generated mm. and also if there is no iota of truth it might not be 15 million if there is no iota of truth in web of user, something similar must have been happening but we've been hearing of cases of different cells for VVIPs mm. and different cells for uh, uh, ordinary, ordinary. Uh, uh, guy. So, the uh, minister, of mi minister of interior he has a should look, also exactly. come out to uh, talk about the conditions of the inmates in our uh, correctional services, because this is an embarrassment that should be looked into. All right. Now, talking about the issue of um, this allegation, the EFCs, can this case, you know, involving this allegation? Can it serve as a catalyst for a broader reform within the EFCC to address internal misconduct? See, it won't address anything. Oh, really? Things like this have been happening. It will continue to happen. It, I mean, it, it, it depends on... I mean, we, I mean Jaya Bello's case is uh, an example. Mm. The, the class somebody wanted came to you you couldn't, uh, and the, the chairman himself told us that he even wanted him to, initially, that like, he wanted him to come to mm, the, the, back, back the back door. Like, How can you say that? Mm. So, uh, EFCC needs to, I mean, leave that name. They have to, I mean, that they are really EFCC. So, all these kind of talks, so, I mean, at times, supposed to, we're not supposed, we to. Are not supposed to be hearing things like this. That things like uh, Yaya Bilo's matter should not be staring us in the face. I mean, had it been that there were no video recordings of um, the, when he exactly. visited EFCC, yes. probably EFCC would have denied that they ever saw Yaya Bello. Mm. That he still wanted. But somebody was in your office. Now, uh, very dark man and uh, uh, Bobriski. added to them. Now, yeah, now you said you have invited them. What if, yes, you invite them and you threaten them, yes, if you agree, if you admit that um, uh, 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 somebody was trying to give you, but you know, the bribe giver and the bribe picker. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are liable. Sure. In my uh, in my uh, account. So, but EFCC needs to come clean. Those who demand equity mm. must also uh, uh, go come clean. With clean hands. Uh, yeah. Come with clean hands. All right. Um, looking at this, out of every twelve, most of the time there could be more than one Judas. There could be more than a Judas. <laughs> but if you were the EFCC chairman at this time, what would you be doing? I love I, I love this question. I was going to just quickly, you know, take okay. the button <laughs> from Mr. Majid. You know, for me, I think EFCC should just 
leave that very dark man, young man alone. He has helped him, you know, to sanitize his house. If this story is fake, you don't need to invite him to detect that it is fake. Okay. Even as journalists, as investigative journalists, we can subject it to, to some fact-checking tools exactly. and we'll get it. Let alone an investigative body like ESCC. ESCC. Let them look at the veracity of that claim, mm. of that video, because there are two versions. Some are saying that Bobrisky could have had a conversation with another person who was recording him, okay. and he gave it to a very dark man mm. who is believed to be very bold, yes. very controversial, and he released it to the public. As much as he is not a professional journalist, but he should look at his story as one journalist okay. who is a blogger mm. has released it to the public. Go and use it as a tool to either, you know, look at it that, oh, it is mere fake and lampoon him, mm. come out, exactly. rather than giving other distraction that he should come to your office in Lagos and that of Bobby. Okay, you can invite Bobisky to come and also confirm it. But beyond that, before these two people come, give us facts. Get into this issue that I have mentioned. There are names that have been mentioned, notable names, big names. Notable names. You understand? Notable. So these names should be checked. Let us see the conversation that has happened between them and the uh, Okune. Mm. Let us look at, you know, you even mentioned in that video that, oh, because his account has been frozen, he used a particular account. He mentioned this name yeah. in that phone conversation. Let he come up with a lot of facts and sweep into action. Let this issue not be swept under the carpet. Otherwise, every other person is going to accuse the FCC of being biased. You remember that even when uh, Okune was picked and um, Kubana, Kubana Chief Priest, yeah. you know, they said, oh, different laws mm -hmm. for different people. Mm -hmm. However, one was a bit smarter. But even if Okune is not smart, even if Okune, pardon my word, mm -hmm. is so... <laughs> I don't want to use it that control. Okay, whatever it is. Mm. Let us let Nigerians believe in you. This video is everywhere. This cannot be said about FBI and we don't have this issue nipped in the board exactly. immediately. Exactly. Something has got to be done. Still talking about you. Well, so the as, I, I'm the EFCC now, chairman. I don't have any business in with purging, you guys for now. Purging internal the the commission of its bad eggs. What do you what should he do? Definitely. Should there be like a, a commission of inquiry or what, what, if no, the first thing is make it public, get some people fired. Name and shame. Yes, get some people fired. Police, at least police has done something similar. Exactly. Like that, where they would derobe the person yeah. publicly, yeah. put them before the media. Because it's too sensitive. How can you that call yourself sensitive. an anti graft commission and we can't have people being embarrassed? But you know, it's still at the level of allegation. True. So we need to do your investigation, make it public, and you should rather even thank this very dark man at the end of the day if this issue that he has raised is true. Now, he's even saying that it's not going to appear because he doesn't trust them. Hmm. He has brought an issue of lack of confidence. Yeah. We are telling him to come and come. I wish you are not going to put on call for his hand. So do the investigation, expose the bad eggs, irrespective of who Ox is got. However, maybe I should say this. The presidency should show some level of backing for the EFCC too. Because I will tell you one of the things that has made Ribadu a reference point till today was because, because the backing of the former can president. Pick the IG mm. and nothing will happen. The IG of police. The former so, president really, really. So I, I think we need to see that body language. We need okay. to see because it responds directly to the AGF mm. by, by default. Okay. So the presidency, mm. let's see that backing. Let's see them bite. Mm. If he's scared of working, okay. let him throw in the towel. Mm. But if he wants to work, let him get this backing from the president. And let's see corruption being dealt with and yeah. not being mounted. <clears throat> Thank you for watching that video. So, guys, before you leave, look at the top here. You will see where the road subscribe. Just subscribe to this great platform and also put on Sean Bell so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform, you will be the first to see it. And don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, and also on YouTube, so that 
everyone out there will see this video so guys see you guys some other time